In 2016, Nick Davidson wrote Stories and Endings, in which we follow Tamio as she investigates Inistrat. In her own words, she is there to understand it, to chronicle it. She carries lots of scrolls with her because reading stories is her unique way of channeling magic. She literally collects tales. To become invisible, for instance, Tamio reads an Aki parable about the importance of telling the truth which makes no sense until you read that story. Later she uses another scroll to try and calm Jace down. He's slowly going insane from Emrakul's influence. To get him back together and focused, she reads the creation myth of the Mirror of Mirrodin and New Phyrexia. The mirror were created by Brady Dommermuth, who was creative director when Mirrodin was in production. Originally Mirrodin was to be populated by clockwork gnomes instead. The problem however was that while artifact gnomes are fine for some individual cards, they didn't make much sense to wizards as a whole race to populate a plane. For that you need fleshy gnomes like D&D has. The parts of the artifact gnomes that were repurposed in the mirror were being adaptable and being carefree about its own welfare. They are designed to be disposable, best not to get too attached. Hey, hey, wait up you! You are different from all the magic cards with Alpha in the name. You just mean first, as in the first letter of the Greek alphabet, Alpha. Does that mean, do, do you, do you have a counterpart? Yes! Omega Mirror, literally the last! With the plane infected by Phyrexian oil, this Greek letter occurrence is a coincidence, right? Well, there's more. Mir are named after Myrmidon. A rare English word that means a person who executes order without scrupules. The word comes from the Greek Myrmidonus, where it referred to a group of soldiers under Achilles' command. They executed their commander's orders without scrupules, just like the Myr. Except the etymology doesn't stop there. The Myrmidons have two different origin stories. Either they were worker ants transformed to humans by Zeus, or Zeus took the form of an ant and forced himself on a woman in that form. The resulting child was named Myrmidon, the progenitor of the warriors. So why ants? Well, ants are named Myrmex in ancient Greek. They have tough outer armor and they follow pheromonic instructions without question. Sometimes that goes terribly wrong and ants are trapped in something called an ant mill, a circle of ants that just goes around and around and around. Each ant simply follows the pheromonic instructions of the ones in front of it until they die of exhaustion. There's another neat similarity between ants and mir. Ants are often specialized, just like mir. There is a queen ant, worker ants, soldier ants, scout ants, each with different variations on the theme of being an ant. Sometimes they even grow wings. The mir were created by Memnark, who in turn was created by Karn out of the Mirari. Karn created the plane of Argentum and made Memnark its steward. But Karn unknowingly brought a tiny bit of Phyrexian oil with him. Menark became infected and went completely bonkers. He captures people from other planes using soul traps, so they can populate the plane now known as Mirrodin. This is all in an effort to find someone to harvest a planeswalker spark from. Menark desperately wants to become a planeswalker, like his creator before him. Memnar goes completely big brother when he creates the mirror to keep an eye on everything. In the Mirrodin book trilogy the mirror play a minor role, but every time it's said that they keep an eye on things while not being observed themselves. Memnar looks at all their viewpoints from his panoptical, named after the 18th century prison design in which a single security guard can observe all prisoners without them knowing where the guard is looking. And of course, the word panopticon comes from Greek as well. Panoptus means all seeing, made from pan meaning all and optus meaning seeing. Similar to how Pan American means all of the Americas and an optician is somebody who helps you see better. With the mirror all around and observing everything, you can get a weird sensation while reading the trilogy. Like there is a mirror always watching the characters, just out of view, just between the lines. Like some in-universe version of Anatidaphobia, where the ducks are like metal autonomous security cameras. The mirror were created by themselves. When the first Mirrodin block was done, Memnark was no longer alive. 
The mirror, however, continued existing. Some continued with the last task they were given. Some simply stood still, awaiting for new instructions. One mirror was activated to create a new mirror. And the only way it knew how to do that was to make an exact copy of itself. The mirror and the copy could not leave the chamber they were in, as they both tried to do the exact same thing at the exact same time. Eventually, they destroyed each other in frustration, analogous to the earlier mentioned end mill. A mirror task with repairs arrived some time later. They fixed one of the copies, but before they could start on the second, the fixed one copied its mind onto the other, but this time incomplete. This led the way for the mirror as they appear in the new Phyrexia block, who are autonomous and all slightly different from each other. The mirror celebrate their differences. Even their interpretation of their origin myth is not set in metal. There are disagreements on who is the first mirror. Was it the creation mirror, the repair mirror or the copy mirror? Despite their differences, the mirror remain in unison. That is what it means to be mirror. Well, most mirror are on the mirror side, some of them are Phyrexianized. Because of their cohesion, however, mirror reservoir and mirror galvanizer still work with Phyrexian mirror. On the other hand, the Phyrexian mirror are responsible for a high exposure rate to the Phyrexian infection on the plane. In August, Wizards announced the sets for 2023. Among them is Phyrexia, all will be one. Considering the history of the mirror, we fully expect them to appear in that set. Why else would they see the mirror in Commander 2018 and Modern Horizons 2? Why else would there be a mirror fixture for sale when New Phyrexia All Will Be One releases? Maybe afterwards, mirror can exist on other planes as well. In the words of Doug Buyer, I wouldn't be shocked at all to see them brought back on some other world. Yet, despite the clear Greek influence on this fascinating creature type, we don't expect them on Theros. Thank you for watching, hope to see you the next time.